This is a short tutorial about my workflow for the GoPro Fusion. So I'm an avid skier, I ski most weekends in winter, and I love capturing footage of my trips on my GoPros. Now, to date, I've been pretty underwhelmed by a lot of the footage I've captured on a standard Hero, the Hero 5, the Hero 6, um, tried the Hero 7 with a friend this weekend, because the camera's never quite looking in the right place. You know, my friend falls at the side of me, or something fun's going on and I miss the shot. And that's why I was super keen to try the GoPro Fusion, and here it is now. So, as with all GoPro kit, it's a beautiful piece of hardware, the video quality is really very good, and I'm amazed by how you can alter the frame in the edit. So after you've captured all the footage, you can decide during the edit where you want the camera to face. So it's a bit more work, but it really opens up opportunities when making ski footage. Now. The other thing about most GoPro kit is, yes, the hardware is beautiful, yes, the uh, image quality and the lens quality, etc. is excellent, but the software and the user experience kind of sucks. And the GoPro Fusion is no exception. The Fusion Studio software in particular is really pretty dicey. So, um, uh, the, the, actually my iMac, it doesn't even recognize the Fusion when I plug it in. My PC does, but my iMac doesn't. But it seems the internet has pretty much decided that the best way to get files off the GoPro Fusion is to pull them off the SD cards directly. But that is a faff. I was in Vail this weekend. I'd captured something like 800 files, don't ask, but a lot of files, and organizing them, um, pulling them off the SD cards, putting them into sort of date organized folders, it's not fun. So I spent a few hours this weekend making a little script that I wanna show you. So let's talk about that workflow. So first things first, you're gonna have your two SD cards, one for the front and the back, inside your GoPro Fusion. You take those out, and you pop them into what I've got here, my hardware, is a little USB um, uh, dock, as you can see here. And what I've got in there is two fast USB readers. I'll, I have links in the article um, that'll accompany this, um, where you can go and buy the same. And that means I can have both files popping at the same time. Um, and I don't have to sort of worry about switching cards. I can let the long download process take its place. So that's pretty awesome. Then what I've done is created a script using Node, uh, Node.js, a JavaScript uh, JavaScripting um, platform um, that copies those files, organizes them into groups, puts them into time order, and it's really nice. So let me uh, let me take give you a little show of what that looks like. So here I have a little terminal window and I'm gonna get up pretty close, you might see some reflection here. And once I've installed the script, all I need to do is type fusion copy, then I say dash V for the name of the volumes, and what I've done is I've called both of my SD cards fusion SD. Let me show you this in Finder actually, if you look here, you'll see I have two fusion SD um, SD cards, and they're just both relabeled to be Fusion SD. That makes it easier for me to scan those SD cards. So I'm gonna type in the name here, Fusion SD. That's the name of my cards, I'm missing an N. And then I type in the destination. And I typically put this in my uh, Samsung uh, little external SSD I have called the Samsung T5 and um, I would put that in a folder called GoPro Fusion. So now what that's gonna do is start pulling off those files and ripping them into um, my SSD card that I have locally attached to my iMac here. So let's get that started. Um, it's found two volumes, as you can see, um, 850 groups, yep, I did capture a lot of footage and some time, uh, some stills. Uh, and 18, uh, sorry, 1,862 files. So it's starting to download, and you'll notice it takes a long time. We've got like 4,000 seconds estimated wait time, but we have a little progress bar here, so that's great news. And uh, you can go and get a coffee whilst you wait, whilst it pulls those files down. Now, when it's done, what you'll have in your destination folder is a very neat, uh, let's switch the view here, uh, organize list of files by date can jump in here and then you'll see that we have the individually grouped 
Fusion files that I can now easily import into Fusion Studio. And I also tag them with video or image if it's just images so you can very quickly work out which files are were. So now if I launch Fusion Studio, I'll see this option when it fires up now to add media and I just basically navigate to that T5, pick the folder here I want to open up and here you go, you'll see my preview of my awesome Fusion footage loading up. So that's my workflow with the GoPro Fusion for getting the footage off very quick. I hope you find that useful and subscribe to the channel for more stuff about skiing and GoPro and all that stuff. Cheers.